Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capellan Jr. Wishing you a good day. Now, what I'm going to do today, I will just give you an idea. How are you going to install a flow switch? Water flow switch. Okay, so this is a water flow switch. This is Honeywell water flow switch. The, the purpose of this is to monitor if there is water flow if the pump is working okay so as a bms engineer you will be uh, installing one of these device in the field if you are going to monitor water flow okay in a pipeline okay now i have here two types of uh, water flow switch okay now uh, but they are both the same paddle type so this is the paddle okay now, as you can see, when there is a flow, this paddle, let's say if the flow is going to the right, when this, uh, when there's flow, this paddle will move, uh, going to the flow direction, then it will close the normally open contact and it will open the normally closed contact. As a BMS engineer, I'm always using the normally open contact. Now, as you can see here in the flow switch, there are only three connections one will be the common then a normally open contact and a normally closed contact okay so uh, i'm using normally open contact now how are you going to wire this into your ddc panel or into your io module then it is very simple all you need to do pull a cable two core cable from this uh, flow switch then terminate it in one of the uh, digital input like this one x1 and m this is a digital input for this uh, tax center 411 okay so this is a uh, io module digital io module that can handle 10 digital inputs okay so when you say digital input it's uh, it will can only handle uh, information like on op zero or one so that is open and close contact only okay so an example of an open close contact is this flow switches okay now uh, for the connection it's very easy just pull one uh, cable two core then terminate in your uh, io module then terminate here using the common and normally open contact now the important thing that you have to consider in this uh, flow switch is to know the direction of the flow as you can see here you will see this arrow okay so this arrow shows that it should be mounted or meaning the flow should be going to the right direction okay so if the water uh, pushes this to the right so it will close the contact okay now uh, likewise likewise this one also you will as you can see here uh, so the, the the direction of the flow should be like this okay so when this one moves like that then it will close the normal open contact then you will get a flow status now for the mounting of this uh, since you are going to install this in a pipeline Make sure that you will select uh, the flow switch that can withstand the uh, pressure of the system. If, it's, if the pipe is PN25, then you have to select also a flow switch that is PN25. If it is PN16, then you can select PN16. Okay? So make sure you will always select the proper uh, pressure number for your flow switch and the pressure number for the pipe or the pressure of the system okay now uh, how are you going to mount it in the pipeline now i have a simple drawing here okay now let's say this is the pump now first uh, you have to consider that you have to look for a straight pipe because if you are not going to install it in a straight pipe let's say there is a bend then there will be a very short distance from the pump discharge then a bend will be there then if you don't have enough straight pipe then you might encounter problem because the tendency if you will not install it in a straight pipe most likely you can have five to one meter from the pump okay 
So you have you have at least 0.5 to 1 meter here to make sure that you will have a proper reading. Then make sure there is no abrupt bend here. Okay, so at least you have 0.5 meters there. Okay, because if you have a bend right after the flow switch, the tendency of the paddle will go will be uh, moving back and forth. Okay, so you will not get a uh, proper reading. So when the pump runs, if you will install this very near a bend, so the tendency of the paddle will keep on swinging back and forth and time will come this one will be damaged okay especially if it is made of metal okay so that is the thing that you have to consider when you are installing these flow switches now if you are going to install it in the pipeline what you have to do is you will ask the mechanical people to provide for you the correct fittings or the stub to be drilled in the pipeline and make sure that this paddle is moving freely inside the pipe then maybe you have to uh, decrease the length of the paddle based on the size of your pipe okay so always bear in mind that you install in the site this flow switch make sure you have a minimum straight pipe so that your paddle will give you the correct uh, status if there is water flow Okay, so this is very simple field device for BMS for water flow monitoring. And uh, the connection is very simple. Three terminals, one normally open, one normally closed, and one common. Use normally open contact, just like what I'm using when I'm doing the installation. Then just pull one cable here, two core, use normally open contact, then terminate in one of your uh, digital input or universal input in your IO module. Then the programming later on I will show you how are you going to uh, configure these uh, digital points when you are doing the control logic programming. Okay. So once again thank you very much and I do hope uh, you have learned something today. How are you going to install uh, flow switches for water flow monitoring and what are the things you need to consider if you are going to mount it in the pipe in your site. So, thank you again for watching my tutorial videos. And Santos Capellan Jr. saying, God bless us all and bye for now.